best friends, but they always disagree. Taylor and Alan, I see in that. All right. Well. We didn't just accidentally not record the last 10 minutes of the conversation. I cannot believe this. <laughs> um, oh man, I felt like I got a sweet burn on you too, and now it, if it won't ever come up again. Uh, yeah, no, those things were hurtful, and you're lucky they weren't recorded. <laughs> uh, so I have a movie. Will you be able to guess huh. what, what do you think it is? I wonder, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say get shorty. Ooh, that's actually... Let's talk about Get Shorty. I've okay. never seen that movie. <laughs> Get Shorty's pretty good. But uh, no, uh, Chicago. Chicago is a movie I chose. Chicago is a movie we're going to talk about. You have not seen Chicago, if I can read I your mind. I have not seen it. Oh, man, you got it. Um, but you do enjoy <laughs> Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. I love Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Like that movie holds up to this day. I when was the last time you saw it? Um, I think I saw it uh, a few years ago. I made Crystal watch it. <laughs> did she like it? I, I think so. I don't think she did. The the songs are catchy. <laughs> well, that's all musicals. That's how they work. Well, then it succeeded. That's the whole point, and I liked it. Well, you might like musicals then. Mm, no, if, just this one. If your bar for enjoying a musical is that the songs are catchy. You, you okay. You are a musical loving Mister Sister. Yeah, but that doesn't mean all musicals have catchy songs. Do you, they do. Just, That's just the whole point. It, no, because uh, I tried to watch La La Land. Have you seen this one? No, but I heard that's not very could good. Not, could not. Really? Because it won every award known to man. No, I think it's well made, but I don't think it's enjoyable. Uh, uh, there's like not enjoyable. The motivations we, don't make any sense. We we uh, we turned it on because I and I knew going into it, I was like, "There's a good chance that I hate this, uh-huh. but maybe I won't because it is getting you know all the the all the talk and all the awards." So I'm like, "I'll give it a try." We watched the first song, you know, the first number, or whatever. As soon as it was over, I was like, "This is pure garbage. We're turning this off," <laughs> and, and I never looked back. Name how many musicals can you name? All right, let's do in, this in movie form. In movie form? Yeah, don't just like name Broadway shows or something. Oh, I don't yeah. know what you do. With your Grease, team. Grease Two. Uh, okay, okay, I do like Grease. Chicago, say that. Rent, seen it. The Music I've Man, seen it. Seen it. from Justin to Kelly. Is that a musical? Yeah, uh, I've, I've, never, I've never seen it. Um, let me think. I've seen a lot more too. Uh, High School Musical. Um, I've seen it. So I think I, you know what? I think you might be onto something here. I've only seen two musicals. Joseph and I and like the, them both. <laughs> the Technical Dream Coat. Yeah, that's a. Have you that's seen Master? You've seen the Music Man, though, right? No, I've never seen the Music Man. Oh no! Now this is going to be a callback to a uh, younger time in our lives. Uh-huh. You made me watch this scene. Do you know what I'm talking about? It was one scene that for like a week you were talking. All right. Sorry about that. This episode is full of technical difficulties. It is a disaster. Yeah. Uh, the last thing I heard you say was that I said he looked like my dad from behind. Yeah. So do you know what I'm talking about? No. So I, I, I'm pretty sure this is the music man. There is a scene. It's It's right at the beginning where... Um, they're like on a train. Uh huh. That sounds like the Music Man. And it's like a bunch of salesmen. I want to say yep. or a bunch of this, you know, same type of profession. And they're singing. And there's once there's one like for like a second you only see this guy from behind, and you were like convinced it looked like the back of your dad's head. <laughs> that that's and the craziest thing I've ever heard. I remember I remember watching it, and then like. I didn't even like see it the first time, so I was like, mm, I don't know. And then like you paused it, and then still didn't know. And then I think you even tried to get your mom to agree, and she said no. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure everyone was like, "What are you talking about?" And you're the only one who really thought that. Are you sure that I'm positive? It wasn't you I, doing this. 
No, I remember very vividly. This does not sound like a something that I would do. Oh, it was you for sure. <laughs> All right. I do not remember. Because that. I've, I, I have not seen the music, man. That's the only thing I've seen is that scene like three times when you tried to convince me it was your dad. <laughs> in fact, in fact, I, I might be mistaken, but I, if I remember, I think you tried to tell either Melania or maybe it was Nick that it was your dad. <laughs> and even he was like, no. <laughs> that sounds more like me. So that part. I, I I remember you like trying to play it off like oh look and like you thought they'd be like whoa it looks just like dad or something I don't know <laughs> and I just remember thinking no it doesn't look like you I like I don't see it that yeah that's a weird thing to do yeah that that, that that's that's you <laughs> well Chicago is about. This woman goes to prison, I think for killing her husband or being suspected of killing her husband or being suspected of murder. I'm I'm intrigued. Oh, wait. I just thought of another. (laughs) Oh, I I I thought of another musical that I've seen. Moulin Rouge. It does not. No, I've never seen that one. Wait. Which one is that? Is that not Chicago? I think I'm getting them mixed up. Moulin Rouge is not Chicago. Which is the one with Catherine Zeta-Jones? Uh, Chicago. Okay, so I know of that movie. But there is a movie that I am not proud to say that I've seen, yet I also didn't completely watch it by choice. Uh, and I'm struggling to remember the name. <laughs> and it's not that old, and it has Christina Aguilera and Cher. Oh. Yeah, what is that called? Uh, uh, burlesque. Burlesque. Oh, that movie was awful. <laughs> and so for the company that I work for, when I worked out in the oil fields at the time, we used to have a company bus that uh. would take us from Bakersfield out to Bell Ridge. Um, and so we would ride this bus at like 4.30 in the morning to get out there. And it had the, it had like the TVs. And for some reason, Someone brought the movie Burlesque on, it was like on VHS. And, uh, we were forced to watch this movie. And it was very, very awful. <laughs> that's, that's so, that's a weird choice. Yeah, I don't know why. Literally, it was, it was like, someone was like, uh, I think this is the only VHS I have left. It might, uh, it might not have even been VHS. I don't know, but it was very, very bad. I hated the whole thing. Well, so, Chicago is good. Like, all, what? Okay, so what is this one about? So it's about women in prison. And, okay, I'm on board. Uh, they sing songs. <laughs> um, John C. Riley is uh, in it. Okay, he did. I like that. He's really good. Uh, I think it's Renee Zellweger is the main actress, and Catherine Zeta Jones. I am back off board. <laughs> I think it's Renee Zellweger. And uh, the worst part is, is Queen Latifah. Oh, no. I'm definitely out. I won't do that. <laughs> Why don't you like Queen Latifah? She bothers me so much. I don't know what it is about her. I cannot stand Queen Latifah. I don't know, man. This this movie isn't the worst. It's... uh. It's a it's a decent musical. The the songs are catchy, so you should like it. Uh, well, I'll be honest with you, probably never gonna watch this movie. <laughs> well, okay yeah. then. If, if you wanted me to watch it, you definitely should not have told me that <laughs> Queen Latifah was in it. Yeah, she's like called she's like the big mama character or something weird like that, and uh, is super annoying. Yeah, she is very very bothersome. Um, one of the things that came up on a recent episode that I don't feel like I really, uh, made my point well, I think it probably came off weird, was, I think it was on, with the nitpicks guys, and, uh-huh. uh, I was talking about how I feel like women being the villain is getting tropey, and that I was getting annoyed of it, but I think I uh-huh. figured out what my issue is. Queen Latifah. <laughs> Queen Latifah is my issue. It's, uh... There's something about 
female Harry. actresses, when they need to be tough on the show, they always have this super intense stare. Mm-hmm. Like they're going to drill a hole through someone's head with just their eyes. And it's, it's like they're just trying so hard to seem confident and, uh, intimidating. And it just is, it just does not feel that way. So the point Alan is trying to make is he is not intimidated by women. Nice try, ladies. <laughs> I am not afraid of women. I, I can't uh, be. I, I live in a house full of them. I am. Yeah. Well, you can't show your fear is yeah, what you mean. I, I can't let them know. Uh, what movie were you talking about when you said that? Uh, we were talking about The Defenders. Oh. Spoiler alert for Taylor's life. It's for tonight, it's a probably. Woman. Oh, probably not. It is Susan Sarandon. Susan Sarandon? No, it's not. I don't believe that. Uh, right? Is it really? Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Let me uh, let me double check that. Susan Sarandon is the villain in The Defenders. <laughs> that feels so like off the wall. I don't know if I've ever seen her be the villain in anything. Sigourney Weaver, not Susan Sarandon. <laughs> oh, that sounds more right. I did. I thought I did hear she was in one of these shows. Yeah. She's the villain, though. Yeah, I did not. I could see her as a villain. I mean, you've seen the movie Holes. <laughs> was she in Holes? I don't remember. Yeah, she's like the only woman in Holes. Uh, yeah, her in the Defenders, she, uh, not my favorite. Really? Yeah. Is there anything about the Defenders that you do like? There's one scene that was cool. Oh, <laughs> one scene from one of eight episodes? Yeah, it's bad, man. Is it? Okay, that's a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The Punisher's good. Yeah, I do look forward to that, and that's really the only reason I... It's it's funny because Iron Fist was out of the four, you know, core base shows. Uh, it was the one I was least looking forward to. And we got through it the fastest just because the trailer came out for – or uh, no, because The Punisher came out and I saw like the trailer for it on Netflix. And I was yeah. like, oh my gosh, I got to watch this like right now. So we watched Iron Fist in two days <laughs> just, to, just to knock it out. Which is, like I said, it was probably the least enjoyable, but I got through the fastest. And then Daredevil, I would say, is my favorite, but I felt like it took so long to get through it. Daredevil Season 1 is one of the best comic book series, movies, television shows, any, just a comic book yeah. adaptation. It's one of the best. And then it goes downhill um, yeah. quickly from there. Well, you didn't like Season 2? I did like Season 2. But Daredevil, of the yeah, Daredevil in season two wasn't that good. All the other subplots were not that good. It, it, I loved everything with the Punisher in season two was great. And fantastic. His interaction with Daredevil and them being at opposite ends of the same coin or being the opposite sides of the same coin. Uh, yeah. I thought really worked well together. Mm-hmm. But everything else felt kind of weird. I don't know. I, I wasn't. I wasn't impressed like I was with Daredevil season one. I just wanted to watch more of the Punisher. Yeah, it's it's it was like a long trailer for the Punisher. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I definitely uh, feel you on that. And then Jessica Jones was okay. I didn't mind Jessica Jones. I liked uh, the what the was the villain in that Kilgrave? one? He was yeah, Kilgrave, the Purple Man. Yeah. I felt he made the season for me. Yeah. No, I agree. That's what I was saying because to the, um, Matt and, or Max and Sam was, uh, that I, I watched the first half of Jessica Jones and did not mm-hmm. get into it and I quit. And then, uh, Daredevil season two was coming out. So I was like, oh, I should finish that. So I know what's going on. And that's yeah. when Kilgrave became a character. And then I actually really liked it from that point on, but it was only because of Kilgrave. I didn't care about just yeah. Jones. He was he was pretty good. It was he was a good villain, but he also had like a, a little comic relief to him. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I thought that was I thought it worked well. Um, I didn't mind Luke Cage. I, it I was did too not long. care for. I, 
it, it did feel long. I didn't care for anybody else in that show but Luke Cage. Like everyone else bothered me. Yeah. Well, except I, for him. I feel I'm like just repeating myself from a previous episode that just came out probably, but uh I think it should have been a movie instead of a whole series. Like mm-hmm. if you could tell the Luke Cage story in 2 hours, that would have been perfect. Mm-hmm. Cut out a lot of the fat of that show. A lot of filler. Yeah. And uh just condense it because every every fight scene he had was exactly the same. He didn't have interesting fights. And uh when I was talking to the Nipix guys, I was telling them I was like the only the only redeemable thing I liked about Luke Cage happened in Jessica Jones is when he got shot in the head and they had Oh like, yeah. That was the only interesting part about it. I so, do like them having to try to figure out how to heal him without breaking his skin. Yeah. I thought that's uh, compelling. When they put him in acid? Or just just the whole thought process behind it, like having to figure something like that out. Yeah, I was just saying I think the the shotgun was more compelling than the acid stuff. Oh, yeah, the shotgun definitely for sure. Um, But, yeah, no. And Iron Fist was awful. That that should have never been a series. They could have introduced him in the Defenders or did like a short, like 30 minute something, you know, like a real quick introduction because his story is awful and so boring. Like it's boring for sure. And it was like, I liked, it was weird. So I liked the, the actual fights. I, I felt just like that they were so slow. Like if you just could like fast forward just like a little bit on the fights, then it'd be good. The fights at least. Um, but yeah, it was kind of boring. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Get ready for more of that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's, it, it, it's all an end or means to an end. So I can see the Punisher. Yeah, that was. I love. The Punisher. That's how I felt about it. Well, I was excited for the Defenders. Um, I thought it was going to. I wasn't still right now. <laughs> but now I'm really uh, dreading it. Iron Fist felt like homework, and the Defenders ended up feeling like homework. Like, I just felt like I need to watch this so I can watch and enjoy the other stuff that they're making. I will say, and I don't know. This is this is an issue that I have with the the Marvel Cinematic Universe as a whole, and I I don't know if I've brought this up before. I might have, but maybe not. It's hard for me to get to to feel like there's any kind of stakes in these movies like Daredevil and Jessica Jones when the stakes are like so much higher, you know, in in the Avengers and Captain America where. You could potentially, the whole world could be taken over, or even all of New York, instead of just like a district of New York taken over by some shady people. Like it doesn't, it's it's not, the stakes aren't there, because like in the back of my head I'm thinking, who cares about what Kingpin is doing? The the New York might not be here soon, I don't know. Like well, it, it doesn't feel like it's, I think... it's not as big of a skill, and Going from the big scale to the small scale, it's it's hard for me to, like I said, feel the stakes. See, I, I I understand what you're saying, and I agree with you to an extent. My issue is more that it seems like everyone's motivation in these comic book stories is about taking over a city, and that is an mm-hmm. awful motivation. Like, I felt like Kingpin was a really good villain. I thought he was. Oh, he was a great villain. He was scary, and you know, like crazy but like yeah. he doesn't need the motivation of like i don't even remember was he trying to take over hell's kitchen i don't remember what his 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 plans were i, I feel like i didn't have an issue with him so much but like it, it doesn't need to be about this city um the arrow is really really bad about it where all the villains are like we're gonna take this city this city is gonna be ours and it, like it, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Like, make money your motivation. Make power your motivation. Make whatever revenge or, you know. I th- yeah, I think that's a, a DC thing. Like maybe, like like is especially with like 
everyone wants to take over Gotham. Like that's just like that's what we gotta do. We're yeah. villains. We gotta take over Gotham. Um, and my thing, and I always thought it was funny, or something I've always thought about. I don't understand these. So you have these super villains. Why do they insist on trying to take over places where there's like known superheroes? Like, dude, you know how many superheroes live in New York? Come on, go somewhere else. Well, Batman puts forth, like in the comics, and some of the comics, the mm-hmm. idea of Batman creates these these supervillains that because of him, they're all a product of him. Yeah, that he is he is creating them. Like they are they are matching his. Like it's like a yin and yang thing, or like a pendulum thing. Like for as far as the pendulum swings one way, it has to swing equally the opposite way. And so, if there yeah, was right. no Batman, there would be no Joker. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but no, I agree. It's dumb that they want to take over Gotham. <laughs> like, who cares? Who who wants Gotham? Yeah, exactly. Like, what what, what does it have to offer you? Like, are you gonna run it? Like, you're gonna take care of the political side too? Like, there's a lot of financial decisions you're gonna need to make. Like, are you prepared to do all that too? Well, get ready for the Defenders, because their motivation is so complex and interesting (laughs) and so much fun. I will say, and I'll say what you will about Batman, and I already know what you have to say, so I don't need to hear it. Batman's the best. He'll punch the Batman right in the face. He has the best villains. Yeah, probably. Uh, They rely on the Joker too much, but... Uh, yeah, well, just like how Marvel relies on Loki, I feel like, being a villain. Now, that's something I didn't understand. Um, you go from, you have, so you have Iron Man, the Hulk, Thor, mm-hmm. Iron Man 2, right? Uh, right. Thor is probably the worst. Oh, and Captain America. Uh, Thor is probably the worst movie out of that. You You could probably argue Hulk. Uh, the Incredible Hulk being worse, but I I feel like I enjoyed mind it more. What's that? I didn't mind the Hulk, and I, it had its own villain. Yeah, but I, like I I think arguably it's fair to say that Thor was the worst of Phase One Marvel. So uh, yeah, I agree with that. Why would you take the worst movie's villain to be the villain of? The big movie of the Avengers. Uh, because I feel like a lot of the other villains don't have the ability to be the super villain, and Loki does because he has actual godlike powers. So it's it's easier for him to scale up his uh, villainy. Yeah. I don't know if that's a word, but it just but like seems he like has the weird... ability to to make an army and to take over New York. I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like Marvel would be better, and maybe in, in my opinion, if they didn't focus on making like individuals the villains, and more of a focus on like Hydra in general mm. being the villain, and it being like the underlying, you know, it, like it's got its roots all over the yeah. place and stuff like like I, I feel like that would be better than individual villains. Yeah. Well, and I, I think. To be fair, I think Loki did a good job in the Avengers. It's just a weird choice to use the momentum of the worst to try to propel your big, like what you've been working towards, which is another point I'll make about the Defenders is they use the momentum of Iron Fist to move the Defenders along. And it's why would you do that? that. (laughs) This, I, it, it brings me too much joy. To make you dread watching the defenders, especially because you're gonna watch it no matter what. No matter. Oh, I how, will watch it no matter what. How much you dread watching it, you're still gonna watch it. So it it gives me too much joy to make you even more anxious about watching it. Mm. Then again, at the same time, internally, my head is saying, if Alan hates it this much, you're probably gonna like it. All right, you'll see. It's really yeah. bad. It's really not good. Yeah. It's it's worse than Iron Fist. We agree about all the other ones. Uh, yeah. Right? Daredevil 1, we both say is the best. 2 is For the sure. Punisher is what's good about that. 
Kilgrave yes. is what's good about Jessica Jones. Uh, Luke yes. Cage is too long. And Iron Fist is pretty much bad throughout. We have almost the same uh, opinions about all of them. I'm telling you, the defender. I am trying to hold out. The defender is awful. It is so bad. Uh, Here, I'll, I'll spoil the first five minutes for you. Close your eyes. Okay. Ching 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 ching. Splash splash. Ching ching. Ouch. Oof. That's the first five minutes. That chinging was. I don't uh, know. If that sounded pretty good. Swords fighting, but that's all you get to see. With your eyes closed. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad. You, you, uh, you I got was a, really compelled. You got splash, a better experience. Splash, <laughs> you got a better experience what Spit happened just spins. now than what you're going to get when you watch The Defenders. Huh. Well. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> you will, you, well, you won't see. Because the whole show is black. Uh, well, I'm done. You know why it is? You know why it's so dark? Why you can't see anything? Because the action the- is terrible. Uh, they had to hide it. Really? Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I was reading something uh, the other day that the story was from the same people who did Iron Fist. So it makes sense for it to be as bad. Yeah. And the fighting to be as bad. So get ready for that. Eight hours coming your way. There's about- That's the only saving grace. Is it's not. That is only eight hours? Episodes. That is only it's one only work episodes. day? Oh, jeez. It's a you, whole work day. <laughs> you could go and really make money. You could... You could make your life better with an extra day of work, but you're going to go and watch this terrible, terrible show. Oh, boy. All right. Well, that was our <laughs> review of the movie Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is coming out January 31st, which means Forever My Girl just came out. What did you think of Forever My Girl? Forever My Girl. So, this one, I believe, is based on a Stephen King book, Mm. and it is about a stalker who obsesses over a movie star actress. Yeah. And uh, eventually kidnaps – well, not eventually. It's pretty early on. He kidnaps her and pretty much forces her to fall in love with him, and then it works. And that's it. That's weird. It's, it's a the, really it's a, the poster looks very much like the Notebook and that kind of style of movies. It is, and that's why it's weird. It's like if you took if if the Notebook was written by Stephen King, uh-huh. this is what you'd get. Huh? Is there like mystical elements to it? Is there magic? Um, there is a little bit of magic, but there's a lot of children dying. Oh, <laughs> why? Which I know we've had that discussion. Uh, recently about Stephen King has no problem killing kids. Yeah. Um, in fact, there's a scene where you don't actually see his face, uh, but there's like a cameo by Stephen King and he kills a kid. He kills like it's actually Stephen King killing a kid. Now, when you say it's actually Stephen King killing the kid, does he actually kill a kid or is it actually Stephen King in a movie killing a kid? So in the movie, he's Stephen King. Or is it actually Stephen King playing Stephen King pretending to kill a kid in the movie? Okay, so it is actually Stephen King. He is playing a character in the movie who in his head thinks that he is Stephen King. But he's not actually Stephen King, the character. He's not actually Stephen King, but he's played by actual Stephen King. Gotcha. And he thinks that he's Stephen King, so he acts just like him. Okay. And then he kills a kid. But does he actually kill a kid? That's the point I'm trying to. That's the that's the most important part. Because if he actually in real life kills a kid, we should probably alert the yes. authorities. But if it's just in the movie, then well, that, here's the thing. It's I think that he does actually kill a kid uh-huh. uh, who is also played by Stephen King. Um, but the way that it's done, it's it's very artistic. Okay, so that so it's, a pass. it's not like 
it's a pa- you know, he gets a pass. Yeah, that makes sense. Anything Very artistic, artistic. <laughs> yeah, you can do whatever you want. Pretty much. All right. Well, if you would like to help us out, if you'd like to support our show, you can go over to Patreon slash I seen that. For a dollar, you can get access to all our episodes two weeks in advance and also help decide who is going to be punished. This month, for January, uh, whoever is in the not lead, I don't know why I always say it that same way, because it's never how I want to say it. Whoever is not, Who is not the winner of the lead of this game. <laughs> whoever has the least amount of dollar votes is going to have to do film doing a headstand. Now, I know... That doesn't sound like Daunting. that impressive, but uh, Taylor can't do a headstand, and he doesn't. He's gonna try way more than just once to, to do says, this. You say it so confidently, like you fare better doing a headstand. I I I would almost guarantee I could do a headstand better than you could. Okay, now do we get to use a wall? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> that was my okay. plan. But do we get to use the assistance of a person? No. You can use a so wall. we have to... No person. Okay. Person, got it. And you can support yourself with your hands because I don't want you or I to damage our necks. Your necks? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be bad. It will not bode well for the future of the podcast. No, that would be very difficult if you die. Yeah, that's my guess. Um, but yeah, so Taylor definitely can't do a headstand. He's going to have a very hard time. And so the joy is watching him. I don't like him, how confident Alan is. I don't like it. I think he needs to be taken down a peg. Watching him try to do it and fail over and over and over. Now, I want you guys to think. Remember how funny it was? To watch Alan have to wax his legs. Now imagine that same person having to try a headstand. <laughs> well, here's the thing. No one's got their legs waxed yet, so we don't know who did that. Uh, it is already January. You have done this. <laughs> oh, is that what happened? I guess you guys can go and check and see who paid that punishment. Also, whatever punishment we decide for December. Yeah. Uh, that's a surprise. We're not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> now, I will say that I have seen you attempt a, a head slash handstand in the pool, and it did not end well for you. Okay. Hang on. You told And you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm still so upset about that. We were swimming. I, we were swimming. I, I, <laughs> I've never felt... More sorry for you in my entire life. In fact, that might be the only time I ever felt sorry for you <laughs> because I was like in utter disbelief. It, in utter shock. It I wasn't. Witnessed I, it wasn't a headstand. It wasn't a handstand. I was trying to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I, I still see it. I, I was trying to blow out all the air so I would sink. I was trying to just sink to the bottom. And so it was me, you, and my at the time girlfriend, Taylor, not you. <laughs> <laughs> we never dated. Um, Which page? We were, so we were all swimming together. I was trying to sink to the bottom. I go down. You, Taylor, who was supposed to be my best friend, who was supposed to have my back, tells my then girlfriend, Taylor, hey, step on his head. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> That, okay. <laughs> that did not happen. That, that's the story I've been Here's told. The thing. I know that's what you were told. That did not happen. I had no idea what she was doing. I had no idea what she was going to do. She didn't say anything. In fact, I didn't fully understand what happened until you come shooting up from the water. And like, I'm pretty sure initially you thought it was me. And I did, I, I, I didn't even grasp what happened. Like, I was in shock. <laughs> I did not tell her to do that. <laughs> I don't trust you. I, I, you have never been innocent of anything in your life. This is true, but of this, I promise you I am innocent. So, I had no hand. That uh, here, was just, I am, here I am just, trying to float to the bottom. My eyes are closed. <laughs> I'm like two inches away from the ground, and someone steps on the back of my head, 
and smashes my face into the ground and just my nose rubs against the pool floor and it hurts so bad. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I can't believe that's a thing that someone did. <laughs> And I, I am pretty sure the story is you told her to do it. Did not tell her to do it. So where did that story come from? I'm pretty sure she tried to pull, pull, push it off on me. In fact, I'm pretty sure that initially she tried to tell you that I did it. I don't remember that. I think I always knew it was her. I don't, it, it, it really, it, it was shocking. <laughs> and it, it felt like it came up like out of left field. Like I remember thinking, like, why? Why would you do that? Like he probably could have drowned so easily. I don't think I could have drowned, but you don't know. <laughs> it's true. I mean, I would hope. I was just. I would hope if she knocked me out, if she stepped on my head hard enough to knock me out, one of you guys would have been smart enough to get me out of the water so I could breathe again, not just watch me sit there and drown to death. Well, I was thinking more like she would have, like, busted your nose open so badly that, like, your body just immediately filled with fluid and drowned. I don't don't think that's how anatomy works. It's not like a... Yeah, until you get your face (laughs) smashed down. I'm not just like a big pocket of air that uh, once it pops, it it fills up with water. Oh, that was that was insane. That was so insane. <laughs> oh man! And if I now, uh-huh. if I now, I, I might I might be out of line here, and maybe I'm wrong. And you, you can tell me. I feel like afterwards she didn't even really feel that bad about it. Like uh, I, I, I feel. I don't. I remember. I remember her being like, "What's the big deal? Like it's not that." She tried to make it like it wasn't a big deal. No, I don't think that was the case. If I remember, I, I think she was embarrassed and felt bad that she hurt me and was like, well, that was dumb. Uh, but I don't, I don't remember very well. Uh, that was insane. <laughs> and really funny, but really shocking. It's funny now. I did not enjoy it at the time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just smashed, smashed. <laughs> water <laughs> well what a, uh, what a way to go <laughs> what a way to die i i tweeted the other day you know you're becoming an adult when you're more afraid about dying in an embarrassing way than you are about just dying in general oh yes that would have been pretty embarrassing yeah because i was walking up the stairs uh no hands eating a piece of pizza <laughs> and like almost choked <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, that would have, what a dumb way to go. Cause I, I had something in my hand, so I was eating a piece of pizza, like, the, it was a whole slice still, just in my mouth, and I was eating it. <laughs> and, oh, wow. Yep. Not a good way to go out. Can you imagine, <laughs> like, the detectives show up and they're trying to figure out what happened? And, like, do you think that's ever the, the, the determination that they'll finally come to? It would. Yeah, yeah. Or at what point if someone says like maybe this happened? Like, come on, <laughs> he's an adult. <laughs> he would not do this. Yeah, it would probably he's look like a murder. No, someone. It looks yeah, like someone exactly. tried shoving a piece of pizza down his throat, and to make it look they're, like he they're, choked. They're questioning your wife, and they're like, "So you're telling me <laughs> that." He, he, it was all him. He just tried walking upstairs and with no hands and consumed an entire piece of pizza and then died. It's like, can you imagine? Okay, can you imagine if you had died underwater having to explain that to the police? Like, oh, so we were all in the pool and he went underwater and his face was like a couple inches off the ground and I just stepped on his head. Well, like, then, and you hate this person? No, I was <laughs> dating this person. They're like, what made you think that was a good idea? I I did it for the lols. <laughs> it would have looked like a conspiracy for the both of you. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I would have I would have got out of that <laughs> because I still think it's your fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> the police definitely would have thought it was your fault. 
Oh, for sure they would have. If I would have gotten yeah. murdered. I would be in prison right now. If I would have gotten murdered, my parents would have blamed you for sure. <laughs> yeah, I feel like no matter how you die in this world, I'll have something to do with it. And if not, well, I will be blamed for it. Especially now that you said, I will have something to do with it on record. <laughs> It's okay, I inadvertently <laughs> will have something to do with this. I, I think what you're trying to say is people will assume that you have something to do with it. Yes. <laughs> Not that you and actually... Up, like... <laughs> oh, man. All right. I almost saw a murder. You almost saw a murder? Yes, I almost saw you die but right in front of my eyes. Oh, <laughs> Um, yeah, so, <laughs> you can, you can like us on Patreon, you can like us on Facebook, you can follow us on Twitter at I Seen That Pod. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, we would like to thank our sponsors, Boss Play. They are a awesome escape room in Oceanside, California. If you have the chance, you should check it out. Yes, thank you to our sponsors. <laughs>